Hi, today I'm tying a blue crisp pocket holographic buzzer. The hook I'm using Kamasan V110 size 10 and for the thread uni 6 o block and for the ribbing blue holographic tinsel using a blue fist pocket for the cheek which has already been pre-cut and for the flash pack I'm using Unimail so, <coughs> let's start tying scratch it about here wind the thread nicely touching turn Just cut the waist piece, spin the bobbin anti-clockwise to open the thread, lays nicely on the hook, Just stop right there, get the tinsel for the ribbing. Scratch it about here. As you come in back up, make sure you're using the touching turn method and just stop right there about 4 millimeter before the eye. Bring the ribs up nicely and equally. It. Catch it here, cut the waist piece. And I'm just going to alter the hook, spin the bobbin anti clockwise, open the thread. Sorry, I just split the thread by mistake. That's fine. Build up a nice thorax. It's just about ready to put the cheeks on. Just catch the cheek from one side gently and pull it back for so three turn. Bring the other end forward. So I just have to cut this and catch it equally again we'll bring the both and equally work or so I can have it nice cheeks right I'm gonna cut the loop we can see the cheeks are sat properly now we need the uni mellar for the flash bug make sure I just put it on right in the middle of the head Yes. 
just about done. Spin the thread open and bring the cheek back towards the eye and catch them equally just about here. Sorry, one has already come off, so I'm just going to both of them. Yep, that's fine. Bring this flush back forward just catch it in the middle of the head that's done bring it back catch it again and then that's it we we'll finish it and that's your puzzle ready get all the loose piece I'm going to be using blade to cut this close as possible. That's it. And just use a little bit lighter, you know, to get the fluff off. That's your blue crisp pocket holographic puzzle. You can use varnish or UV raisins entirely up to you that's one is done now have to keep it upside down so just get the varnish above the head and that's your buzzer ready and I hope you like this. Please keep watching. I'll be uploading some more videos in the future. Thank you.